Good day, YouTube. This is Jay Money with Following Ford Financial. Uh, just an update here on uh, Hexo. I've uh, covered uh, Hexo a couple times here on the channel. Uh, those of you that uh, follow me uh, know you talk, know that I uh, talk a lot about uh, MJ, and um, so uh, they're all long-term holds for me. I uh, see a future in them all. Um, whether you like them or not, uh, there's definitely a future in them. They're not going away. But they're just getting more popular and um, on the way to uh, legal, uh, legal on the uh, federal level. So, uh, but back to uh, Hexo. This is uh, Hexo, and ticker is Hexo. So can't get any easier than that. Here's a look over the uh, last three months. Uh, not too great. Down. Uh, we'll just call it 23%, and the last month uh, down 30%, so even worse. Um, you could have been watching it, and um, if you can do an option on this one, that would be an, a good option on the way down. And here's a look at the last week, so down 0.48%. Uh, and here's a look today, so uh, it looks like it started off at 429 and went down to 409, and then it was right now at 416, so... Um, I have uh, three shares of this. Uh, the reason my cost basis is um, so high is because I did a split. I'll show you that here in a moment. Uh, if you don't know what uh, Hexo is, they're a uh, MJ company which uh, creates, distributes products to uh, serve the uh, global MJ market. Been around since 2013. 4.49 million uh, shares and a $833 million market cap. Not the greatest of ratings, showing a 58% hold, 25% uh, buy, and the earnings are kind of all over the place, so uh, looks like they missed on that one, and looks like they've been spot on on some other ones, and this one was way off, so, um, but here is their reverse split, um, so it did a 1 for 4 back on the uh, 23rd. So previous shares I had was uh, 15, and now I have three. So for every, looks like five that I had, I ended up with one share. So don't know what uh, I paid for those uh, prior to that, um, but anyway, I'm still in the red on that one. So it's uh, down $40.75. Uh, if it goes any lower, I might have to buy some and uh, lower my cost basis on this one. Here's just another look at it on uh, NASDAQ. And moving on, Hexo uh, provides update to Redican acquisition. This is dated on the uh, 14th. Um, Hexo, the uh, company, is pleased to announce uh, that in connection with its previously announced acquisition of the entities operating the business for Redican, it has now obtained and will be shortly filing the recently completed, audited, consolidated financial statement of Redican for the financial year ended on 12-31-2020 uh, and the unaudited interim financial statements for the first quarter ended on 3-31-2021. Uh, Redican has the uh, top consumer loyalty in Canada, impressive market share, and leading products in key categories. Today we are excited to uh, finally share additional financial information with Hexo shareholders, said Hexo CEO and co-founder Sebastian St. Louis. Um, Redican's historical financial statements demonstrate exactly what we are already knew. Ritican is one of the fastest growth LPs in Canada with positive income from operations. And feel free to pause and uh, go over the rest there for yourself. Some of the key financials. Revenue net of excise duties <coughs> of $73.6 million for F20 and $24.7 million in Q1 F21, representing an increase of 146% over Q1 F20. Unadjusted EBITDA of $28.9 million for F20 and $12.4 million for Q1 F21 per the following reconciliation. And here's some more uh, earnings information, income from operations, selling general administrative costs, and depreciable capital base. And feel free to go 
pause and uh, go over the rest. Here's a little bit about uh, Hexo, their award-winning licensed producer of innovative products of the global MJ market. Hexo serves the Canadian recreational market with a brand portfolio including Hexo, Up MJ, Original Stash, Bake Cell, Namaste, and Reup brands, and the medical market in Canada, Israel, and Malta. Company also serves the Colorado market through the Powered by Hexo strategy and Trust CBD USA, a joint venture with Molson Coors. And so I talked about uh, the uh, joint venture with uh, Coors on uh, one of my last videos. Uh, it's always good to see uh, companies like this with a major company like Coors uh, doing a joint venture that just um, adds some credibility to the uh, company as well as it should in time the uh, stock price and just kind of gives it a little bit more stability in regards to uh, some of these MJ companies as a lot of them aren't profitable yet so uh, so in the event that the previously announced uh, transaction transactions to acquire 48 North and Redican close Hexo expects the number one MJ products company in Canada by recreational market share and for more information you can go to their uh, website you can click on it here and uh, see where it takes us and so I've went over their website in the uh, past uh, also talked about uh, Hexo acquiring Zenebus Hexo Redican acquisition and so it seems like a lot of these uh, smaller companies are doing acquisitions uh, joint mergers with some other ones uh, Aurora's a major one so is uh, Freya and I've talked about those on the channel here as well and uh, own both of those stocks so here it talks about Hexo provides update on Redican trans or acquisition you can go there for more information you can find all this on hexocorp.com leading producer of quality MJ products 600 plus employees 400 plus points of quality control and I would assume every one of these will just continue to grow as time goes on because a lot of these products a lot of people use and like I said they're not going away anytime soon they just get more popular and uh, more widely used and so therefore the uh, stock price should continue to go up uh, better MJ stock Hexo versus Organigram I've uh, talked about uh, Organigram on the uh, channel here as well expected to see impressive growth in the next five years with that in mind uh, which MJ stock uh, Hexo or Organigram is currently the better buy and so like I've said in the past all of these are at least a bare minimum of, of two years probably more like a five years if you really want to get the uh, biggest return on a lot of these I would uh, hold them for a decade again I don't give tax legal or trading advice I'm just stating an opinion and you'd have to do your own due diligence on these but I'm um, just telling me what I do with these but um, definitely a long-term hold so so the MJ uh, market is expected to grow at a kegger of rate of 18.1 percent between 2021 and 2026 the solid growth rate is expected to be fueled by the proven medicinal usage of MJ legalization of MJ at a higher pace and further diversification of the MJ product portfolio the uh, market remains highly volatile amid investors concerns regarding negative profitability and rapid increase in the competition in the given market as a result the ETF MG and I've talked about this one on the channel here as well the uh, ticker is MJ lost around 10% over the past month compared to the spider S&P 500 3% gains over the same period a uh, lot of uh, if you're going to get into uh, MJ, I would uh, check out my ETF videos as well. Uh, those are a little bit more stable. Uh, you do get a dividend with some of those. You're not going to get rich off of it unless you have a couple thousand shares, but something is better than nothing. So uh, if you just own uh, Hexo or Organigram on its own, you're not going to get a dividend like you would with the uh, ETFs. 
Keeping that in mind, today we're going to uh, analyze and compare two MJ stocks, uh, Hexo and Organigram. And so uh, Hexo recently quarterly uh, performance on June 14th announced the uh, third quarter earnings results in Q3 Hexo revenue was up around 2.3% on a year-over-year -year basis to 22.7 million. However, the company failed to beat Wall Street consensus estimates of 34.6 million. I'm missing by a whopping 11.9, so unfortunately they missed it. And feel free to pause and uh, go over the rest there for yourself. The liquidity position as of April 30th, the company had a total cash of 81.03 million as well as 19.04 uh, million in trade receivables and total debt of 73.9 million. As a nine month ended April 30th, 2021, the company decreased its cash burn rate from 16.8 to 16.8. Uh, Based on that, uh, we would expect a cash on hand to be sufficient for the next 12 months. Uh, here kind of goes over some analyst estimates and uh, valuation. And again, you can find all this on uh, stocknews.com. Recent quarterly performance for Organigram or OGI. Reported earnings for the third quarter in 2021. The total revenue has risen 13% over year over year to uh, 20.3 million, uh, beating Wall Street estimates by 6.72 million. Organigram net loss decreased 94% to $4 million from its uh, year ago valuation of 89.9 million. Company's EBITDA loss came in at 10.78 million compared to 2.1 million in Q2 of 2021. However, the adjusted gross margin stood at minus 4% compared to a plus 23% a year ago, which could be a concern for investors. Here it goes over liquidity position as of May 31, 2021 company had a total cash of 55.88 million and total debt of 49.77 million. Uh, so you can leave in the uh, comments uh, what you like better, Hexo or Organigram. I'm slowly going to scroll through the uh, rest of this article for those of you that like to pause and uh, go over the rest there for yourself as there's still quite a bit more information left there. And again, you can find this on Stock News. And so I own uh, shares of both, and uh, like I've said on other videos, I like to uh, diversify into quite a few different of these because they each have their own uh, niche, and whether it be a CBD or gummy or product uh, that kind of stands out, and uh, you never know which one's going to take off, so I like to uh, diversify into quite a few of them. So this one goes over why Hexo stock has climbed 14% so far in 2021. This is just dated on the uh, 19th. So a couple days ago, began 2021 at $3.72 a share, closed at $4.20 on Monday after going as high as $10.28 in fe February. So far this year, the stock is up more than 14%. Some of that is due to the general excitement surrounding MJ stocks as several states open to medical or adult use sales. And so, like I said, there's always uh, states opening up. Um, seems like there's three, four, or five more states uh, per year that are uh, becoming legalized and uh, someday on the uh, federal level, so we will wait and see. Investors got excited when the MJ stock announced its plans to buy Zanabas Global in February for $186 million. This was just the beginning of a buying spree for the company. It bought uh, 48 North. Uh, there's the uh, ticker on the, over the counter in May and an all-stock deal for $41 million. Then later in May, it announced it was purchasing Redican, Canadian's largest privately owned producer of recreational MJ for $765 million. So as you can see, they've been buying uh, quite a bit of, uh, so that would be almost a billion dollars worth of almost a billion dollars there that they've uh, spent purchasing other companies and um, acquisitions and everything 
company had a solid second quarter report that kept its shares above eight dollars a reported revenue of 32.8 million in Canadian dollars and feel free to pause and uh, go over the rest there for yourself and also if you have uh, Coors um, stock you can leave that in the uh, comments as well the company needs to show it can pay for all these acquisitions by improving its revenue in the fourth quarter Hexo has just established its presence in the United States by buying a 50,000 square foot production facility in Fort Collins, Colorado. It says the facility will allow it to grow in joint venture with uh, Molson Coors Brewing, and right there's the ticker TAP. Uh, so if you have Hexo, uh, you might want to look at some shares of Coors or vice versa. So if you have some Coors, you might want to look at some um, shares of Hexo. I don't have any TAP right at the moment. Um, I've thought about it and haven't got into that one or Constellation Brands that's uh, with CGC and there's a couple other ones um, that have looked into uh, some MJ and maybe we'll have some uh, CBD beverages later on down the road I've also talked about that here on the channel so you can check those out as well is it too late to buy Hexo and this is just dated yesterday on the uh, 22nd shares of the MJ Producer Hexo have seen some pretty wild trading action in the past year over the 12 months. Stock is up about 51%, but it's down 57% from the February high. On May 28th, Hexo announced that it would merge with private MJ producer Redican, also based in Canada. And I've also talked about uh, the uh, Tilray and Afria combination which is a close second at 15.5 uh, market share. Acquisition will close the Hexo about 925 million uh, Canadian dollars in cash and stock. And what is Hexo doing for the company's fiscal 2021 third quarter, which ended April 30th? Net revenues were essentially flat over a year at 22.7 million. And so a lot of good things going on with a lot of the MJ companies and acquisitions and growing and everything. And how one uh, MJ packaging company is trying to stop ocean plastic. And it's kind of interesting. So Dimapack, a manufacturer of child-resistant packaging solutions for a variety of applications and industries, including MJ, announced a partnership with Social Enterprise Plastic Bank to stop ocean plastic. And we'll see how uh, far they get with that. Um, there's a lot of people that's been trying to stop that as well. So, partnership was launched in June 2021 with client Hexo and award-winning licensed producer of innovative products for the global MJ market. And just going to slowly scroll through here. Uh, for those of you who like to uh, go through that article, and you can find that on Benzinga. Over here to uh, Reddit. One moment here. Sometimes find some good information here on Reddit and sometimes not. So the Granddaddy Purple 52% THC and 26% CBD. And that's dated 18 days ago. So nothing up to date here as of lately. So we'll check out Stock Twits. Usually find more information on stock twits. Uh, currently at 416, a low of 232, high of $11.04, volume of 2.64 million. One packaging company is trying to stop ocean plastic. I already went over that. An inevitable fall to $3 has arrived. In this cantankerous, <laughs> bewildering, and appalling prick stock. That's quite a mouthful. It has arrived in this cantankerous, bewildering, and appalling prick stock. I gotta love it. Going green, last 30. Let's go, Hexo. Almost 700 shares now. Thanks for these prices, and thanks for whoever is selling their shares to me. And I've talked about all these. We have Hexo, we have Aurora, we have uh, CGC or Canopy Growth talked about that one and a free I've talked about all these uh, I'll try to link those in the uh, description also talk about uh, psychedelics so here on the uh, channel so another good uh, thing to get into I feel so 
Uh, but again, I don't give tax, legal, or trading advice. You have to do your own due diligence on these. And uh, currently at 416 here on the tip ranks. And hold out of seven ratings. A one buy and a six hold. Upper side of uh, $6.47. So with a 55% upside, a high of 796 and a low of 557. And see if there's anything here on uh, Twitter. Are you ready to take a moment and make it an experience? Award-winning adult use 19 plus. So like I said, if you have a Hexo or Organogram, you can go ahead and leave that in the uh, comments along with your cost basis and uh, how many shares you have and any other uh, favorite MJ plays that you might have or uh, want to see a video on, go ahead and leave that in the uh, comments as well. So right there is where it hit its peak. So, uh, But again, that's all that I have on this one. Um, I thank you for watching the channel. We hit uh, 1,000 subscribers and trying to get up to the uh, next level now. So um, go ahead and smash that like button, uh, hit the subscribe, and uh, hit the bell so you're notified of when the next videos drop. Again, this is Jay Money following Ford Financial. Happy trading, happy investing, stay green. Cheers.